Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the CMA show. My name is Devansh Kulapwani and in this episode we are going to do some revision. Okay. So as um uh, May June window is approaching and I believe lot of you have booked your exams for May June window and it is very crucial to have a crystal clear concepts and the key to have crystal clear concept is a regular regular revision rigorous and regular revision so i'm starting a revision series in which i'm going to make you revise a topic that's all revision okay don't think like this is going to be a full fledged explanation but the thing is for now we have to focus on revision so thing is today we are going to revise absorption versus variable costing this is this is my favorite topic and i thought i should start with this topic this is my favorite topic okay so the thing is the basic difference between absorption and variable costing is treatment of fixed overhead fixed factory overheads now first of all what is absorption costing what is variable costing so these are the two income statement methods these are two income statement formats in which fixed costs are treated differently fixed factory overheads okay fixed fact fixed factory overheads for absorption costing it is a product cost and for variable costing it is a period cost what is product cost what is period cost product cost is that cost which we assign to the product the cost that is incurred because we manufactured the product now of course for example factory rent factory rent in absorption costing is a product cost because of course we incurred factory rent because we wanted to manufacture the product we wanted to produce this product so this factory rent is product cost so we assign this cost to the product and we charge this factory fixed factory overhead or fi- uh, factory rent cost to the income statement as a product cost meaning jitna product bika hai the number of sales it depends on the how much sales we have made suppose we have uh, we have sold 20 units we will assign fixed factory overheads of 20 units to the, in the income statement okay suppose we have sell suppose we have sold uh, 40 units we will assign fixed factory overhead cost of 40 units in the income statement simple okay so what do we get is first of all we have sales we have cost of goods sold and this cost of goods sold consists of fixed factory overhead once we reduce this cost of goods sold from sales we get gross margin from gross margin all we have to reduce is period cost period cost is not product cost or non manufacturing cost okay or non in, non inventoryable cost so this period cost is charged as incurred meaning we have to charge this amount of fig, uh, of period cost just uh, just the way we have incurred it suppose we have incurred is it as 100000 charge 100000 that's all nothing to worry just charge whatever we have incurred in the form of period cost that's why it's called period cost charged as incurred that's all after reducing gross mar- after reducing period cost from gross margin we get net profit okay so period cost can be of two types variable or and fixed as well and it is charged as incurred we don't allocate we don't assign it to anything or anyone okay so now what happens is in when we are talking about variable costing and variable costing is also known as direct costing or the costing approach for internal decision making what happens is the format the treatment of fixed uh, fixed factory overhead will be you know uh, let me explain you this so thing is what happens is you have sales you have to reduce all the variable costs variable manufacturing cost and variable period cost as well how so reduce from the sale you have to reduce direct material direct labor variable manufacturing overheads and variable selling general and administrative expenses as well so after reducing all the variable expenses you get contribution margin from that contribution margin reduce fixed factory overheads now 
this is the thing here fixed factory overheads here in this variable costing approach will be treated as period cost and period cost is charged as incurred period cost is not assigned to the product because it is not a product cost it's a period cost period cost has to be charged in the income statement as incurred suppose we have incurred fixed manufacturing overhead of 100000 you don't have to assign 100000 to the units that you have manufactured just charge it just charge it to the income statement to the variable costing approach income statement okay so take the entire figure that you have incurred in the form of as a fixed manufacturing overhead and reduce it from the contribution margin and take fixed selling general administrative expenses another fixed um, period cost when you reduce that when you reduce all the fixed cost from um, contribution margin you get net profit that's the basic difference here fixed factory overheads will be treated as period cost and here fixed factory overheads will be treated as product cost meaning you have to assign the cost to the products and charge the fixed factory overhead cost based on the units that you have sold and here charge the entire fixed factory overhead irrespective of what you have sold or how many units you have sold because it is period cost here and it is product cost here okay that's as simple as it is so i hope i helped you to revise the concept of absorption and variable costing again this is a revision series and not a full fledged explanation explanation okay so if you want me to make more of such uh, conceptual revision videos make sure to like and comment down below let me know if you want me to make you uh, revise more and more concepts for your exams i will make more of such videos on a specific topic specific concept that you want me to explain and if you are facing any problem in any concept let me know i will make a video and i will try to explain you in the most simplest form so that your concepts can get crystal clear thank you so much for watching it till here my name is devansh gulawani make sure to like subscribe and share this video with someone who is preparing for the uscm exam just like you thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next episode thank you